All right then, my good friends of YouTube. <clears throat> okay, do you, uh, any of you guys... Let's hold on a minute. I remember one of these. I was using my tripod that, tripod that Raymond Dill gave me. I was using it with... <laughs> those over there. That one. And... That one. You know the flyback ZVS drivers in a project box? I was using it in one of those. <clears throat> And I found another one. It's blown. And I found, well, not found, but I've pinched this one out of the kitchen. I've got two in the kitchen, so only one will do. So uh, this one works. It's not blown. I think I can hear a helicopter coming over, probably a police one. As there's always gun crime around here. Only joking. Um, but yeah, let's wait for this to go. Come on, fly over. Oh my god, the whole garage just vibrates. But yeah, I've got this, which I'm going to try and see if we can get some nice corona out of this one. But well, we should definitely get some out of this one. And this one is out of a microwave. And this one gives off a yellow, bluish output. You know, like a corona effect around it, which is uh, quite intense. At first I thought it was generating x-rays even though you'd actually have to do it between an anode and cathode inside or two pieces of plate. Um, because it was this new colour that I'd not seen before I was like oh my god I've just generated x-rays I'm gonna die but uh, no I'm still here and I checked it for the camera and I had no snow effect um, or any um, electrons um, or whatever smashing into the camera's CCD so but anyway <clears throat> Let's uh, let me just turn the lights off and uh, show you this because it it's pretty cool. I uh, as you know I do like doing all this sort of stuff and uh, I actually did it on this little tiny one as well, which is um, it's actually I think it's a bulb. I found it on the floor at the uh, scrapyard and uh, it had a filament going across it, so uh, I've uh, brought it home and uh, stuck a bit of wire mesh around it, and this glows up really nice blue as well. So see if I can show you that working as well but uh, anyway as you know I do like to share my projects and what I'm doing so let's turn the light out oh shit bang me toe that really hurts right here we go power <clears throat> on let's turn this thing there let's just turn this a minute. As you can see, it's pretty intense. Look at that. This one's blue, but if I turn it on, it's gonna long. It's gonna make me look a lie now. I think I've burnt a hole for it. And I'm out of camera here. I'll tell you something, Raymond, I'd be flipping struggling to do this, mate, without your help. Thank you very much, my friend. In fact, the... Let's turn this light out as well, because then you'll be able to see that. Where am I? I'm over here. Out of view again. But, uh see if I can turn the camera on a little bit more so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more power just look at that oh I wish I could see this I do believe I broke the ball
That is just intense. Let's put the light on. The bulb itself has gone this very strange cloudy greenish colour which smells very strange. Sorry about the dog next door. Let's just pause the video for a minute. Okay, next to tender. I think we'll try this one again. Or one of these, should I say. Some nice bits of wire just to wrap around the end there so I can get hold of the, the connector of the base there, should I say. Generally, the amount of times you stab yourself in the bloody hand with bits of wire and stuff. But uh, you seem to get used to it after a bit. Your fingers start to look like a bloody sponge. Ah, you bugger, you see? And there's another one. Well, you don't really get used to it, it just bloody hurts a lot. <laughs> this thing, damn it, not again! Oh. Okay, comment. Use gloves! Have you ever tried to do this sort of work with gloves on? It's a nightmare. Right, well, I do this, I'll pause it so you don't have to boringly watch me. Right, okay then guys, got this one wired up. Hopefully we should get a good output out of it. Right then, let me uh, switch the light off. I've installed a clapper. Okay, you ready? Oh, yeah, worked then. <laughs> Bit of old uh, <coughs> video uh, editing there. <laughs> right, let's try this one. Turn this one off as well. Right, so power's on. I think we should do with a little bit of zooming in there, guys. What do you reckon? Yeah, cool. Make sure that we're properly focused in. Right, if you can't see that, but inside of there, the broken filament is actually swinging around all over the place. I think it might focus better with a light on. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? Awesome. Let's turn it up. Oh, that just looks awesome. That is absolutely spectacular. The inside of the bulb is just awesome. It's just a flipping stream of a Corona. Oh, it just looks amazing off camera. You gotta keep moving it around, see, otherwise you'll get a hot spot. It's like the same thing with um, halogen bulbs, you know, if you've got a fingerprint on it and then the heat suddenly starts, um, your fingerprint just draws, you know, attracts all the heat and it just concentrates all into one point and that's how you burn out your halogen bulbs. So we just have to remember never to put a fingerprint on them. Oh, this just looks amazing. I think I've got a dead spot already. No, I haven't. That is amazing. See if I can turn it off one sec. See if I can focus in a little bit more. Oh, yes. See if you like this, guys. It's like a bloody globe. You know, static globes. Should we kill this now? There you go. All the vacuum's gone from the bulb. That is actually stuck on there, that wire. Yeah. The wire is stuck on there with the melting of the glass lock. 
Let's see if it kills it. It's a nice orange, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that was stuck there then. Oh, look at that, blew the end off. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, that stinks. I need my extraction on. Where are we? Extraction. <clears throat> Oh, God, that stinks. Right, should we try the next one? Okay then, guys. <clears throat> now we've got this one wired up. The other one of this, the base of this was really, really hot. And it uh, certainly cooked well. It broke, I like the way it just broke the end of the, the glass off there. But uh, before I do, I'll quickly show you this as well. I'll actually curiously put this on the end of here somehow. Show it you're working. This is pretty cool. I want to get it so it's just perfect so I can show you. There we go. You see that? No. No, you can. I don't hold your, hold your breath, guys, because uh, I don't know if this camera is sensitive or not to uh, to pick the, the glow up of the corona of this little bauble. But unfortunately, I can't change the exposure because it's a phone. But uh, I'll turn the lights out. Start her up. Oh, you can see it. Awesome. Looks pretty cool. And even if I, if I turn this right up and don't touch it, it should glow up. There you go, you can just about see that glow. If I go near it. It could probably just arc out because there's too much power. Too much getting hot. The glass is getting hot. I can smell it. So, turn that off. As Larry HDXFH always says, safety first. Now, we'll try the big bulb. This is a 28 watt bulb. It's got a halogen bulb in the centre there. Let's try to turn it up a bit. Oh, got something. I don't think you can have to saw. You can't even bloody see on the camera. What am I doing? What's a numpty? 
Sorry, guys. I really apologise about that. Should have looked first. There we go. Oh yeah, you can see the end there glowing, look. <laughs> Even the uh, smaller halogen bulbs glowing. You see that? <laughs> That's pretty intense. Because of the halogen bulb inside the casing of glass, unfortunately this one doesn't seem to be working that well. Off camera, it looks pretty good. It looks very good. Bit of a delay on the light there, I think I'll have to look at that circuit. <laughs> anyway guys, that's the halogen bulb. A little bit more detailed look. There you go. So it's got the, uh, the halogen in the centre there. I'm sure you've seen them before. But anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, let's make sure that it's focused on me. Thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves, hope you enjoyed that little bit of um, bulb thingy, <laughs> don't even know what to call it for the video title, but anyway, thanks for watching, be careful whatever you're doing guys, uh, whatever you're messing around with projects wise, always remember, uh, look after yourselves, and uh, we'll speak again, bye.